Okay, hi everybody. I decided to make this video. I've seen a couple of good YouTube videos of people who have barricades and barricade lights and that sort of thing. And unfortunately, I'm into the same uh, type of hobby, I guess. We'll start out right here. This is a uh, MCO Light 2006 solar assist light. It runs on two or four D batteries. Um, and uh, I believe I got this one in New Orleans, Traffic Solutions. Here are the two of the same exact lights, except one of them is a uh, solar assist and the other's not. And what I did was I put two fresh sets of batteries in there and I'm checking to see how long the solar assist actually lengthens the life of the battery. I have a couple of type B lights here, the B barricades, excuse me, that I bought. And only about up till last year I realized, did not know that the uh, type, actually it's a type 2 barricade, excuse me again. The type 2 barricade has two reflector panels, and the type 1 only has one on the top. This is a Dietz 670. Inside this light I have an LED bulb that I've converted over. I just took the, the 1850 bulb out and put a AD uh, or an LED LED bulb in here. I have it hooked up to, believe it or not, USB. I've got USB, the positive and negative off this USB source onto the contacts here. And this thing's been running for quite a while now. I don't have it, this, this thing's supposed to charge it up solar power, but I've got it covered up. I've been trying to see how long this thing is lasting. And, and it, is, it is still going on. It's been, been a while. It's rolling along. Here's a 650 visor flash, which I had rigged up the same way um, with a USB cord. Now this one I have an incandescent 1850 bulb in here, and here's the USB. And I did a little test, and I charged both of them up at the same time, this one and this one. Same same light. This one just happens to have an LED bulb. And this one had the incandescent. And turn them both on. They don't have a photocell. So they flash continuously. And this one is still rolling along. And I've got it covered up with a you know thing so the water and the uh, sun doesn't shine on it. So this one gave out a little bit faster than this one. So I'm waiting to see how long before this one will actually stop blinking. And it's only running about 5 volts. So... Mm, I'm not sure. Alright, well, here's a Dietz, uh, I think it's a Traffic Guard 40 that I acquired off of eBay, and it works. Uh, it lights up with the kerosene, and that's what they used to use in, the, I think, the 50s and the 60s, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, well, I will show you what the LED light bulbs look like that I've got this guy and the other one hooked up. This is the LED light bulb. You can get these things off of Amazon. They come, you can get them in 12 volts or 6 volts. They got a bayonet base. So pop right into any one of your barricade lights. Uh, some circuits they don't work on. It's kind of weird. I can't explain that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Over here is, uh, well, let's start here. These are the, I think they're called Dicky lights or Dyke lights. Dyke, Dick, Dyke, whatever it's called. These are them. <laughs> they run on uh, two or four uh, D batteries. They're uh, three volts. Up left here is a light that I got off of a, uh, some kind of junkyard in New Orleans. And I've got it rigged up. I don't have it on right now, but it's was, that's the old Type A's from maybe the 70s. It's actually a protecto flash. Very antique-ish. This is a Maverick light. I don't know if you've seen the Maverick lights. Well, this is the original one. Way back when, back in, jeez, 1999, 98? That's when I got that thing. Solar powered. I've rigged up the batteries because the battery pack went out and I've rigged up my own battery pack and put it in here so it charges this thing over and over again. Uh, this is just a Type A light. I'm not sure what brand it is, but I've also got that hooked up. Now this is a flasher flare southeast company out of Tampa, Tampa, Florida. And they uh, 
they kind of went out of business. And I've been having a, this kind of a light since 1977 or 78. And it has, as you can see, it's very bright. It has an LED bulb in it, just like the other ones. Uh, well, the, uh, the sign here kind of made myself. I had it welded and painted it myself because I used to have my flash of flare light on one of these and they had rusted out and fell apart. So I basically built this one. Here's a PSI light type, uh, type A and it is LED red with kind of the unique reflectors around it. I've got this thing hooked up to a 12 volt battery that doesn't start anything but it still has voltage but not enough amperage. And that thing is on a trickle charger, if you can see that. All right, next in the list here are the Type A Solar Assist uh, Impco lights. They're on a Model 2006 frame. Uh, it's a Type B light, 212.3, the 3 indicating 3 volts. Uh, solar Assist, or, but the S, I believe the S would be for Solar Assist. Now these, this one and this one have the batteries in here, two or four batteries. This one, there's no batteries in it. it the battery is actually in the back. This is the latest model. And it also has, it's like a NICAD battery or a nickel, yeah, I believe it, or maybe a nickel hybrid, I'm not sure. But back a while back, I was having problems with one of them. And only, only, only half the lights would flash. <laughs> And sometimes at night it wouldn't flash, couldn't, or daytime it wouldn't flash, or nighttime. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, so this was the problem. That's the circuit for those lights. There was some kind of a malfunction in there. I'm not sure exactly what happened. But if you notice on the top, and I've talked to the people at Emco Light, this is a photocell. And what happens is, during the day, this photocell senses the light and allows the LEDs to flash at full brightness. At nighttime, it senses that it gets dark, and it lowers them down maybe about, I don't know, maybe 10%. But I've definitely checked it out, and it does work. You, 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 you'll notice the difference. Now here is, uh, the, uh, this is kind of a newer version of the Maverick that I've kind of rigged up. And as you can see, I've rigged up my own batteries <laughs> because the battery pack in that thing has malfunctioned, and I need some screws. But it, uh, well, yep, there it goes. It comes on, as you can see, when you take, you, you can see it flashing there, I think. Now this one I got off of eBay. Uh, this guy, I know he had like four of them for sale for a certain price, and I just told him, hey, I'll give you, you know, 25% on one of them, and we went with that deal. Here's a D650 that I've hooked up. It's uh, hooked up to the batteries, and these two right here, the blue and the yellow. And it's it's an LED bulb and it's pretty bright. This is a night flasher from the 70s. It also has an LED bulb. There's a Dietz 670 from the 70s. And uh, it has an LED bulb. You can see it's kind of like a miniature strobe light. Uh, two more Emco lights here. These are hooked up. I got rechargeable batteries in here and then what I do I'll, uh, when they start running low, I put them on a charger right here. Here's two night flashers. Are they night flashers? I believe they are night flashers. Yes, they are definitely flexor light night flashers. So that's kind of a, the latest later of the lineup. Uh, got these off of eBay. I have put a brand new, just a regular battery in here. You know, your lantern battery in both of these. This one that I've marked has an incandescent bulb in it. And this one has the LED types, uh, as in these other ones that you get off of Amazon. So I'm going to be doing a little test on these things and see how much longer the LED lasts than the uh, incandescent. Another one of these, and it's got an LED bulb in it. It is hooked up to a solar charger. So the sun is actually charging. <laughs> Got this off of a security light, but the sun charges these batteries. It recharges this one and this one. Now this one is very unique. It is a night flasher from Los Angeles, California. This is the original style that they had back when. It actually has a, an LED built into it from the factory. 
it's it's one way it doesn't uh, it's not super duper bright I mean but it, you know, it flashes but if you turn the lens you know you start turning the lens this way you don't see the LED the LED stuck straight so you gotta kinda you know you gotta look at it straight on or it's not quite as effective here's the Y2K Emco light these are very old I don't know um, yep traffic solutions in New Orleans I've got these hooked up to uh, these 10,000 milliamp there are 10,000 milliwatt hours, whatever. I guess that's 10 amp hours, I'm not sure. But they last a long time. <coughs> Here's a Tough Light 2000 that I got uh, in the year 2000, I believe, by United Rentals Highway Technology. <coughs> and it's pretty bright. Okay, and this is the Sundowner light. Sundowner. Yeah, it's uh, low budget. It works. I've got rechargeables in that one too. Another night, uh, another not night flasher, an Emco. Another. This is the Y2K light also, in red. Now that I have uh, just regular batteries in there, and it's still tooling along. Believe it or not. I mean, they don't. They don't. It's weird. I can't. Can't explain it. Okay. Uh, well. Well, anything else I can show you out here while I'm uh, recording? Just make this one video. Uh, this is a. Anybody that's out there watching from New Orleans, that's an original K&B, Cats and Best Off drug sign off of the store, when they, one of the stores, when they got bought, bought out by Rite Aid. And on the fence here, this is D.H. Holmes from New Orleans. There's a staple of the city back when. Uh, Daniel Henry Holmes Company Limited, that's the logo. This was on the side of, up, way up high, on the side of one of their stores when they got bought out by Dillard's. Uh, the people who were taking it down for scrap or, you know, told me I could have it, so I, I got it, so. And I believe it's the only one that didn't get crushed in the crusher. All right, well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, I'm uh, working on this light right here. It does says dikey, dikey, whatever you call it, safety product, traffic light. I'm working on a circuit on this one because it's fall, fell apart and it's it's not a good quality light. I'll tell you that right now. Out of all the lights that I seem to have up there, the Emco light seems to be the best and the sturdiest. And one other thing about Emco lights is they're actually an American-owned company, and all the parts except for little knick-knack things such as screws, etc., are made in America. They actually manufacture their own lights. All these other lights, uh, I think, are outsourced to China. And that's kind of how Robert Dietz was back in 18 or 19, whatever, or what year he started. But all his stuff was made in, in New York. Okay, well, well, maybe I'll, next video will be uh, inside. I'll go ahead and shut this down. I'll go ahead and uh, do the, uh, my garage, a few lights that I have in my garage that I don't really have out in the backyard because I don't have enough room. All right, bye for now.